our new topic is algebra. And the first video is going to look at using variables. A variable or pronumeral is a letter that represents a value in an algebraic expression or equation that's stated there. In algebraic expressions such as a plus b, the variables represent any number. I'm going to look at this in like a sort of more practical way. We need to write an expression for the number of ants in a nest if 25 ants died. You notice here we don't know how many ants were in the nest in the first place, but we do know that however many there were, be it 100, 1000, 2000, 50, that there's going to be 25 less because 25 died. So what we are going to do is we're going to let n stand for the number of ants in the nest. We don't know what that is, so n's going to stand for how many there are. 25 died. So now in the nest, again, we don't know how many exactly ants there are, but we do know that it's the number that there originally was, n, subtract 25, because 25 died. So for example, if there was 100 ants in the nest originally, then there would be 100 minus 25, 75 ants now. If there was a thousand ants originally, then you do a thousand minus 25 to work out how many ants are in the nest. So n just stands for the number of ants that were in the nest originally. Second example, write an expression for the number of ants in the nest if the original ant population doubled. That's the original ant population, n, n standing for that number. It doubled. Doubled means two times it. So two times by n which is more commonly written as 2n. If it's multiplied, you don't need to put that sign in there. So now, if the pop original population doubled, it's 2n. Next example. Write an expression for the number of ants in the nest if the original population increased by 50. Again, we don't know the original population, the exact number. We represent that by n. We now know that 50 more ants have come along. So there's that original n amount of ants plus 50 because 50 more ants came to the nest. Okay, sorry in this next one the textbook actually refers to b as that original amount of ants. I just think it makes sense to be to call it n for the number of ants but they've called it b. So what would it mean if we said that a nearby nest contained b plus 100 ants? So if you like, I'll change it to n plus 100. So if a nearby nest contained n plus 100 ants, that would mean that the nearby nest has 100 more ants than the other nest. 100 more ants. All right, because that's the number of ants from our original nest, but the little next door nearby nest has 100 more, n plus 100. So what would it mean if we said that there was another nest that contained b minus 1,000 ants? Again, I'm going to change that to n minus 1,000 ants rather than calling it b. So there's another nest. What would it mean if that nest contained n minus 1,000 ants? Well, it would mean that this nest has 1,000 fewer ants than the original nest we were talking about because the original nest has n ants. Okay, there's another nest. It's got very poor soil conditions and it has n over 2 ants, again instead of b. How much smaller than our original nest is this nest that has poor soil conditions? n divided by 2, that's the same as saying half n. So how much smaller than the original is this nest? It is half the size of the original nest. Because the original nest had n ants in it. So please remember in algebra that a variable or a pronumeral is a letter or a symbol that represents a value in an algebraic expression or equation.